This is one of my Japanese apricot trees. It's also known as Prunus Mume, and it is known for flowering very early in winter. Somewhere as early as January or February, this tree will be in full flower and has a very, very nice smell to it. So you come into your garden on a nice winter day and you smell spring. That's this tree. Unfortunately, it's also known for another thing. It is known for being a poor back butter. As you can see here on the trunk, I did get actually a sprout this year. I got a sprout here, but the canopy in itself is not very dense. The tendency of this plant to only grow buds on new branches means that you have to prune in a very, very special way. Otherwise, the branches will grow longer and longer and longer. And within one or two years of getting your tree, you have to start grafting it. Instead of growing branches, it will grow flowers. The way this is regulated is through the leaves. If there's a leaf, there will be a flower bud, typically. So what you want to do in early spring is you take the two leaves that are all, my, all the way on the inside of the tree and you clip those off. That way you reduce the hormonal production of this leaf and the bud here tends to become a leaf bud. No time like now. Let's remove all the inner leaves that were grown in the spring season. So the first two leaves on every single branch that came out, I am removing on every single branch. And therefore I keep the tree nice and tight. So the main pruning now is done. Um, what I'll also do is I'll remove all the wiring that I still have on here. Uh, there's a few branches here that I wired in early fall. So last week of spring, this Brunus Muma has developed quite well. Um, branches have grown. And even the young sprout that has popped from the trunk this spring did well. So now it's time for the next step of this technique. And basically what it comes down to, we're going to take all the long runners from the top, bring it back to maybe two leaves. And at the same time, we're going to take the ones that are lower down and reduce it to maybe three leaves, make it a little bit stronger because we want to encourage the lower branches. And then we're going to wire them out. Um, at this point, the branches are very flexible, but they are about to set. They are going to get harder. They're going to lignify over the next couple of weeks. So now it's time to really prune it back. Let me just go through it. I'll prune it back. I'll wire it out. And then for the rest of the season, we just leave it alone. Wonder if these make good cuttings. Maybe I should give it a try. Then again for a growing season. Now let's see whether this will backbud and talk to you at the end of the season. Um, again, that will follow straight away right now. And will they root? Any thoughts? Leaves that curl up on the Prunus mume are not something to worry about. It's a really, really good sign. The leaves that curl up, that's where you get flowers. So this tree, is looking excellent for flowering. So don't worry about your Prunus Mume in the middle of summer curling up. It's a good sign. It is a tree that wants to go and make flowers in spring. It's the middle of winter. All the trees are dormant. All the trees, not this Mume, that started to flower and we can finally see the results of our work. Over the next few days, um, I expect a few more flowers to open, but it's windy and wet, so I'll probably lose these as well. But take a look at these buds that are coming out. So that was it. This is it for um, how to prune uh, Prunus Mume and how to get back budding on it. And before I forget, the cuttings, the first batch, all died. Later in summer, however, these are about to flower. <laughs>